So I'm here to show you my October makes. Um, it is actually November, but um, yeah, this was the first time I had to do it, and I'm not doing it so fun again um, because I'm not going to have time to film it over the weekend. Um, and so I thought I would just get it done here, and it's kind of easier to change here. Anyway, it's so fun to have big giant windows um, all along one wall. So I'm going to start showing you um, my first make, which are my um, ooh la la leggings from Paper Cup Patterns. Oh gosh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's paper cut patterns, but it'll be um, linked below. So hopefully you can see this. Maybe I'll insert pictures later if it doesn't show up. But um, these are out of that wool. They have the really fun. Um, Sorry, I don't know if you can see my dog Bessie. <laughs> I'll show her to you. Hold on. Here, Bess. So this is Bessita, <laughs> little Bess. She's um. We got her, I guess, a year ago, so she's about a year old, and she is um, actually a German Spitz kind of mix, so kind of halfway between a Husky and a Pomeranian, um, but yeah, little Bess, she's very cute. Yes, so these are my leggings. Um, they turned out really good. I was kind of nervous about the um, wool jersey because it's kind of thick. Um, but they ended up working pretty good. I, I did them in a um, size medium, which I actually was fit for the size small. Um, but I did them in the size medium because I thought that the fabric, because it was thicker, um, and didn't have as much stretch that it wasn't going to work as well. Um, so I did that, and I, I think, yeah, they worked out pretty good. I actually ended up put, putting them in the dryer for a little bit afterwards because they were kind of big still and then yeah that worked out really good because now they feel perfect super warm I mean super warm I'm super excited about that for winter because I yeah I usually feel cold and they have all these great seams so that's awesome I'm very pleased with those so I actually ended up doing an extra make um, with that same pattern the legging pattern um, and a different more like um, spandexy type of fabric. So I'm going to show you those next. Okay, so these are my other Ulala leggings, and these are done out of a knit that's almost kind of a scuba knit. It's really super super stretchy, um, and these. Yeah, these are in a small, so these are actually a size small. They're so comfortable because um, they're super stretchy and then they're also silky. So these were fun to sew. The whole pattern's fun to sew because it's um, it has just the fun seams there, and so the pieces just go together neat, and I liked it. I did enjoy sewing, and the waist does come up pretty high. It comes to like your real waist. Um, which I like. I think that's nice underneath things. Um, I end up using a thick elastic actually because I think it's more comfortable than just an inch. So I did like a two inch elastic on these. On my wool ones I did the same thing but I actually think I'm going to change that and just make it a wool waistband. So I have the same fabric. Um, just make it tighter and do it like that because I think that'll be more comfortable kind of like how yoga pants are done. I think I'm going to take that out and, and do that again because I, I don't know, something about the wool, it feels different. This one I don't notice the elastic at all, it feels good, but the wool fabric, I just kind of feel it a little bit. I feel like if I was wearing them all day, I would get kind of uncomfortable. So, But these I've worn um, quite a few times already since I've made them, so that was the first one I tackled out of my makes and um, I enjoyed them. So thumbs up on paper cut pattern leggings. Um, now I'm going to show you my molly top. Okay, so here is my molly top. Um, I made this out of a size, I did a size 10, which is what my measurements are, is a size 10. Um, although I think if I made it again, I might try doing a size 8. Um, it fits great, feels really comfortable, so I might find that the 8 feels a little bit small. 
but sometimes I just like these kind of shirts, these just jersey type shirts to be a little bit tighter. So um, I think I will try doing an eight on a different fabric. But I do really like this one. I've worn this one a lot since I've made it. Um, it's really nice just to have an, a simple black shirt that's long sleeve. I really like the sleeves with how she did little kind of kimono sleeves and then add the sleeve part to it. So really comfortable shirt, easy to make, easy to sew, um, didn't take that long. And then I, the neck, I think I would also change that a little bit. I'm just not a huge fan of the boat neck. I'm, this is not a true boat neck, but it does come out a little bit further. Um, and I don't like that just because I feel like you, all my bras, you can see the straps. Um, but it's not too bad, so I might bring it in a little bit the next time I made it so that it wasn't quite such a wide neck. But other than that, I really like it. Yeah, I've worn it tucked in to some skirts, um, and then right now I have it on with just jeans, just hanging out so you can see. Yeah, it has the cute little, comes up a little bit, goes pretty low in the back, which is also nice. Um, so yeah, really comfortable. This material is so comfy, so it's pretty cozy. I could just wear it all day. <laughs> So now I'm going to put on my last um, make, which is my flannel shirt that I did, and that was really fun. So, Okay, here is my Alex shirt. I really like this one. I think this might be my favorite make of the month. Um, I don't have any flannel shirts, so I feel like that's kind of crazy. I grew up in the country and... I don't have any flannel shirts, but um, I just love this flannel. I love the colors of it. It's really warm, really cozy. Um, I did white buttons down the front. These are not actually real buttons. I did like Lisa had done in one of her vlogs where she didn't actually make them buttonholes, and I did that. Um, and I actually did them on a machine too. <laughs> so I haven't actually done that before. I always just do them by hand. Um, but I did it on the machine and it was really easy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was good. I just didn't feel like I was going to open it up. Um, and I always, I thought if I did want to do that later, I can always add buttonholes. But, um, yeah, I didn't do any buttonholes. And I still have, I did the sleeve tabs, um, but I didn't do the buttonhole on here. But I will do that so that I can um, pull them up like that. And I tried my best to do... Um, pattern matching. I did the pockets pretty well. They're kind of hard to see. Um, and I tried to get the side, so the side seams got that matched up um, pretty good. Some of the sleeves, like they were a little bit matched. Um, the yoke, that was just, I didn't try that hard, <laughs> but with the amount of fabric that I had and then the pleat and the yoke, it just was not not working to match it. So that's not matched, but that doesn't bother me. Um, I just, I feel like it doesn't have to match in every regard, just kind of some effort is nice. And the collar the same. Some parts of the collar I think match, but then some parts don't. Sometimes it just it wasn't gonna work, you know, I couldn't match the whole thing. But um, yeah, I think that it turned out pretty nice. And I'm trying to remember, I think I did a size 10, as well on this one and um, I really like this Alex shirt pattern because it it just sews together really quickly but it looks fancy you know I feel like it looks like more than it actually was and um, I think that I would definitely like to make a dress version of this so I, I had almost wished that I had made this one a dress version but it is nice to just have a shirt, so I think it's good I made this one as a shirt, but I'm definitely going to try one as a dress, because I think it would just be really nice, because it is pretty big, like, I know she designed it that way, but yeah, the waist is, is pretty roomy in here, so I think it would be cuter as a dress, and you could cinch in with the belt, and I think that would be really sweet, so I will definitely try that again, um, and do it as a long version, so... I don't know out of what fabric, I have to think about that some more. 
but yes, I like it. I like it a lot. It's really comfy this way because it is loose. It's very comfortable. So I made a lot of comfortable, practical makes this month. Um, pretty neutral colors and yeah, practical things. Nothing too exciting. This one's probably most exciting. <laughs> so um, yeah, but it was a nice, nice month. Um, the month coming up um, will be a bit more full, which I think is pretty expected. We're getting into Thanksgiving and Christmas and we have um, a little marketplace um, like craft show type of thing that we're doing the 1st of December so um, I have a lot of stuff to make for that um, so I'm busy doing that kind of stuff which I might end up just sharing that with you guys as well as part of November makes. Um, maybe I'll do a couple less clothing type things and then um, throw in some other things that I'm making um, for that. So. That is, yeah, end of my October makes, good month, a lot of sew over it stuff, and I still have actually a lot of sew over it things that I would like to make. Um, I did notice once I went through my handmade wardrobe video that I did last time, I didn't show you guys any of my shirts that I've made, because those were all folded in the drawer and I didn't um, remember to pull them out. So um, I will try to show you that at some point, um, but I definitely am, have less shirts. So it was kind of nice I made two shirts this past month um, because, yeah, I don't have as many shirts, especially especially dressy shirts. So I think I'll, I'll make some more kind of fancy shirts to wear um, coming up, especially with all the holiday festivities. So, yes, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think below. Um, I've enjoyed reading your comments and super amazed by, yeah, all of you that have expressed interest and um, subscribe so that's really exciting and fun. I just kind of did it as a little extra thing but it's turned out to be a lot of fun and really nice to have all those sweet compliments and things you guys have left for me so I do appreciate that a lot and I'll hope to keep giving you information that you enjoy. So I hope you guys have a good night um, and or day whatever it is for you and I will see you next week for my November plans. Okay, have a good one, bye.